last little bit. Let's go around here. Uh, today we're going to pull the concrete and it's here in about three hours. So I've got to empty the holes of water, confirm the quantity, and then we've got to pump the concrete. All right, buddy, get off. The first step is to see how much water is actually in the holes. Oh, not that much. So this is the one with the most water, the biggest one. A little bit down here as well. Right, let's get the pump and get the little amount of water that's in there. Before I go any further with this pump, I better confirm the concrete quantities because we've only got a couple hours. Okay, thanks, bye. Okay, that was the uh, concrete company saying that they're running late. So we have to let the concrete pump know that we're going to be late as well, which I just did. Let's hope this works out, eh? Okay, how do you work out concrete quantities? Well, it's actually pretty simple. But um, the explanation is made easier by drawing. So let's do that. So as an example, let's keep it simple. This is the, let's say it's a three meter post. And we've got a two meter hole. We know the diameter is 400 mils. You go 0 0.4, 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 times 2. 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 times 2. Okay. 0 0.32. That's your volume of this. If there wasn't a post. So you've got to take the post out. Now you do it the same way. The post diameter, 0 0.15 times 0 0.15 times 1.8. So I came up 200 from the bottom instead of 100. Then you take your original, 0 0.32, subtract your post volume, 0 0.040, and that is your volume, 0 0.28. That's for one post hole. So I just measured all the depths of those post holes there and recorded them on my phone. And now I'm gonna do exactly what I just showed you to get the total, total quantity. The holes are all different depths because we sort of drilled to suit the ground conditions. I worked out my quantities here. And uh, because there's more than one post, I just added all the post depths on top of each other. So 1.8 plus 1.8 plus 1.8 and uh, did that calculation I just showed you and I came to 3.7 something. And I added a bit of waste and 15% and then it's 4.2 cubic meters of concrete. So now I call up the concrete company and confirm. All right guys, we're in the money. Concrete confirmed for the new quantity. I hope that quantity explanation was clear enough. I know it can get a bit confusing, but like anything, the more you do, the easier it is. Maybe if you're an apprentice, volunteer for your boss to work out the quantity of the concrete and get him to check it. That's what I do, that's how I learn it. Alright, let's pump some water out, shall we? Alright. So, water pumped out, concrete quantity confirmed. The guys who pumped the concrete, uh, they just arrived and they're aware of the delay. It's the waiting game now, guys. Concrete truck's here. Can 
considering we couldn't walk around here properly, I decided that uh, pumping the concrete was the best way forward. Right. So that's what we're doing. The last little bit. Yeah. So that sucks through the hose. Right. That t-shirt sucks through the hose. Yeah, the Alright. That didn't go too badly. I did order on the low side though, so maybe I'll rename the video how not to order concrete. Nah, just kidding, it wasn't that bad. See what I did, you see here I spray painted orange marks everywhere, there, there. And that's uh, pretty much the top of the clay line, which is the top of the ground that is actually going to hold the retaining wall up. Got that pretty good all the way down, just at this end I'm a little bit short. I mean they're the deepest holes, they go right down so I'm not that worried. But where my calculation was wrong is I should have probably allowed more waste. I kind of forgot that when you use the concrete pump there is a lot of waste because it has to go through the tube and you know when they're moving from hole to hole it spills out onto the dirt here. So when I did that calculation before I should have instead of multiplying the total by 1.15 I should have done it by 1.2 and I would have got an extra 0.2 of concrete which uh, would have been a perfect order. But other than that, I think it went pretty well. We post some mint. Now we just have to wait. Well, I am happy with how that went. Great success. Um, I'm gonna go back to the container now, fill up the air guns, return this pump and um, we're going to be back at this retaining wall in probably two days. I'm going to play it safe.